I get offended. I just got back from GitHub Universe, and what a week it's been. Well, actually, it was just two days, but it felt like a week. Uh, this was, of course, not the only uh, option for my attention this week. Uh, there was a uh, uh, VMware Explorer in Barcelona, which I could have been there. There's Kubicon in Chicago, which I could have been there. Uh, and there's GitHub Universe happening here in San Francisco. So the, the news on the Twitters, uh, the tech Twitters, has been ridiculous uh, of late, right? Just all this really cool stuff happening everywhere. But I, I, I am really particularly glad that I got to go to GitHub Universe, not just because it was in San Francisco where I happened to live, uh, but because it was really, really phenomenal. I mean, first of all, you might have heard some things. <laughs> uh, you might have heard about some of the things they announced. It, it was all set in motion, I think, by their CEO, uh, Thomas Domke, who on Twitter announced just before the show started uh, that just as GitHub was founded on Git, today we are refounded on Copilot. This, my friends, was the tweet that launched a thousand shit posts. Obviously, there's some really cool stuff said in the keynote. Uh, GitHub Copilot helps people be 50% faster on average, and uh, there are a million uh, plus paying customers that uh, make it the most successful uh, coding AI integrated sort of platform yet. Uh, but but people were, on the whole, uh, Let's say skeptical. That's a charitable word. Let's say skeptical. Mitchell Hashimoto, co-founder of HashiCorp, did not love the news. People don't like to think that their favorite social coding platform is going to change. I get it. I'm always a bit skeptical myself. But something's different about this. You see, as interesting as AI is, and whatever it is, uh, it's it, it it's it's not Git. Uh, and, and so many of GitHub's best features these days are already vaguely, if at all, related to Git. Git is not actually all that interesting anymore. It's so much of the, the process around Git. And so that's why they've always talked about it being a social coding platform. And so I think the social part uh, is still there for sure. That's not going away in any way. It's just now they're embracing more fully the, the coding aspect of it as well. And this was a sort of logical, uh, I think, foregone conclusion of their sort of uh, acquisition. Not in the too distant past, by the way. This is actually all fairly recently. So well done. Congratulations on executing in a uh, particularly impressive way. Microsoft bought them. Uh, and it's just gotten better and better. It's to the point now where I don't think of GitHub as the Git hosting provider. I think of it as my platform on which I, I build software. GitHub Actions is one of my all-time favorite features ever of any social website ever. It's my perennial favorite CI approach. And it's really good. It's not just like, oh, this is your free take it or leave it uh, sort of thing. This is better in a lot of ways than, uh, than than some of the alternatives, right? Do you, anybody here remember Travis CI? I used Travis CI for years. It was really good. It had the same sort of a basic approach, right? A text file in one of your repositories, check in the source code, and then uh, it'll automatically pick up this text file and run some stuff in the cloud for you. It was really good. And you could even run uh, locally, I think, uh, memory serves. Uh, but, but basically, this is that plus so much more. It's got the integrations with all the other stuff in the GitHub suite. Uh, it's got this huge catalog of actions that you can use. So GitHub Actions, love it. I use it all the time. And I, by the way, uh, can't pay them enough. I've raved how much I love their stuff on Twitter and the like because I'm just a huge fan, right? Uh, their stuff is really good. GitHub Issues. Eh, in this case, I think you could make the case that maybe Jira or something else is a, is a better issue tracker. Uh, and there's discussions uh, to be had there, but I think we can also agree that GitHub Issues does 90% of what most people need, right? There's more features in Jira, that's for sure, but it, the defaults aren't what I like, whereas with GitHub Issues, the defaults are what I like. For, so for me, it is the best issue tracker, but I can understand why some people might have a dis different opinion. Issue trackers bound up in these discussions of process and methodology and all that, and uh, for that reason, I can't give it a 100% unequivocal, it's better score. But GitHub Actions, I think I can. I, I've tried the rest and I, uh, GitHub Actions for me is the best. You might complain it's all hosted in the cloud, but even there you can have uh, hosted runners that do whatever you like on your own infrastructure. GitHub Pages. You can host static HTML assets uh, in the cloud and it'll just work and you can point people to it and it's lightning fast and, uh, and so on. So if you've got like a write very little, read a lot kind of a website, and, and most people do. If you think about your average landing page or your blog or uh, your, your uh, corporate website or your personal profile page, these are all write occasionally and read a lot, right, uh, kinds of things. So <clears throat> there's no reason that this content needs to be live and dynamic. It could be, and it should be, static and cached. GitHub Pages wasn't the first thing to do this. Obviously, there's others that have tried to do the same thing, but it's certainly the one that I think most popularized it. There's a whole wave of providers that provide 
static site hosting and integrations around that to make that workflow uh, even more interesting. But I think GitHub Pages does a great job, a standout job for, you know, zero of the cost, right? It's uh, uh, it's one of those 80, 80, 20% use cases. Um, and, then, and so now here's their AI push. And they really said, they, again, they're, they're betting the company. They're betting the farm on AI. That's a big deal, right? Uh, but again, even here, this is not new. They have a legitimate claim to have helped usher in the AI era. Copilot, some of you may not realize, came out before ChatGBT. Uh, and, and that was, I mean, at the time, we all just thought, well, this is, you know, this is really cool. This is really good. And it's gotten just better and better and better. And we'll talk about that in a second. My understanding is that they got a hold of some of the early sort of work on open AI. And then that, that got turned into uh, Copilot. And they even talked about it. They even had a, a paper circulating within GitHub in 2020, apparently, uh, where they talked about the possibilities here. So they, they, they were out there with a product based on this technology a full year plus before anybody had even thought about ChatGPT. So uh, yeah, good stuff. Copilot's dope. It's not surprising that GitHub would uh, go all in on AI. Obviously, this is uh, par for the course for Microsoft, which has done the same recently. In the last year, you've heard countless announcements, countless big bets being made on AI, not the least of which is an actual monetary bet. I mean, Microsoft has invested, from reporting I've seen, billions of dollars into open AI, right? They have a huge stake to the point where recently when Sam Altman was on stage introducing ChatGPT Turbo and all these other amazing things, they had Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella on stage. They love each other. They're they're working well together. And, and, it's, and it shows. And so obviously, AI has finally come to GitHub, which is, after all, owned by Microsoft. It's finally come home to roost in uh, GitHub, and I think it's really good. I'm I'm huge fan of Copilot. It's to the point where I still think you kind of need to know what you're looking at to prove and appreciate what you've been given by Copilot, sadly. But it's not like uh, a person who doesn't understand software can wield Copilot. Programmers are still required for, at least for another year. <laughs> like, we're not there yet. I can sit there and I can like f write a method name, a descriptive method name, uh, and then just hit tab and it'll complete the code for me. Now, they've made several huge announcements. They've got something called Copilot Workspace, which they claim is the most powerful GitHub innovation to date. Copilot Enterprise is a, con a conduit to the to the code base uh, for the enterprise. Uh, and of course, they say that Copilot is now integrated into github.com. It infuses the power of AI into the home for the world's uh, developers. All this stuff is just what they announced, but there's a lot of cool stuff coming up, and you can learn more about that by following uh, at GitHub Next. Another thing that I really quite like, by the way, that is also maybe a little less known, do you know they have a really good font called Mona Space? The competition are happy that they're seeing their work in social uh, collaborative coding, I, I would think. This is the thing that's so remarkable about GitHub is they have this really well done coding experience, this social hub, but remember, it's also a platform. For every feature you can wield on the website, there's an API, and it's really good. You can actually get webhooks, you can make calls using the REST API. There's, It's really, 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 really usable. Uh, and people do it all the time. People, I mean, half the value of GitHub is I can build a top it and integrate different aspects together with one single unified API. I'm not pulling together Jira, and I'm not pulling together GitLab, and I'm not pulling together whatever. I'm, I'm using one integrated suite of things, right? Uh, if we agree Microsoft Office is good, I think we should agree GitHub Office is great. There is no such thing as GitHub Office, by the way, but I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh, there's things out there. There are things like uh, Graphite. Graphite is a, a platform that aims to change the way we interface with GitHub. It has a new workflow, but it's building upon GitHub. That's that's wonderful. I'm not sure if GitHub would agree, but I think it's cool. I mean, the fact that they've built their API to be so flexible as to empower that kind of use case, awesome. They've also got Copilot uh, Chat. So now you can ask it questions, right? I can do GH Copilot and then send it a query uh, on the command line. There is a integration with GitHub Advanced Security to better help you weed out any security vulnerabilities, CVEs and the like, to kind of figure out if this is actually applicable or not. That's a smart sort of use case. And goodness knows we've all gotten uh, barraged with uh, countless websites uh, telling us that they have found a CVE or vulnerability and whatever. And it's like, well, it, it, it's not going to apply to anybody. This is not a CVE in any meaningful way. I hate false positive CVEs because they're a huge waste of time. Uh, and they make people hate the process. You shouldn't hate the process. You, you, should, you should strive and want and desire uh, security. When it's painful to do, guess what gets left on the chopping table uh, in, in all too many cases? 
Now, the, they also announced that they're going to use AI to help humanity step forward, to leap forward in a way that was not hitherto possible. Namely, they have support now for helping you write regular expressions. Now, this has been a long time in coming. I think it has been the dream of humankind uh, to be able to achieve this. But it's here now. Uh, and I'm excited about that more, I think, perhaps than anything else. Super glad I went. I saw a lot of friends, had a great time. I still don't know how they make money. It, it blows my mind. I mean, they're just phenomenal. I have like 600 Git repositories, which by the way, that's a me problem, I think. I have a, a lot of my life on GitHub. I have hundreds of GitHub Actions workflows. I have several static site pages. Like I said earlier, I, I actually use that for, for, I used it and do use it uh, for, for things like the landing pages for several of my books. Uh, do you know you can have followers on GitHub? I didn't know that. I don't even know what they do, but I have like 9,000 of them. I mean, that's like, okay. I mean, great. I don't know. It's neat, you know? Overall, super excited. Well done, GitHub. It really is just an amazing time to be a developer. Uh, friends, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye, bye-bye. Have a good one.